Hey, what's up? This is T. Dub Jackson uh, with you again. Uh, looking a little <laughs> scraggly here. I'm getting ready for a big or a big three day weekend, and just thought I would do read you a couple more letters. And I'm thinking about calling this the Help Me T. Dub. Uh, kind of like the Dear Abby, <laughs> or I, I thought about Dear T-Dub, but I thought, let's be original. And most of the questions that I get through email or in the letters is usually the subject is something to do with help me, help me T-Dub, something along those lines. So uh, let's read a couple letters. Um, let's read some good ones first, because I don't want this to be about all bad news all the time. Uh, this one, he's got a very original first name, so I'm not going to read his first name, but it says, I wanted to write and say thank you for the audiobook. Uh, I bought it 24 hours ago. I've been listening to it all day, and it's changed my outlook on my whole situation. Honestly, at the time, I was desperate for something to make me feel better and was convinced this was a scam. I can tell you I have not even read the book because the audio, audio material is fantastic. Each time I start to get down about things, I listen to one of the chapters, and I feel like I can move on with my life. Uh, that's a great letter. Uh, He's talking about the audio book. It's, a, it's an add-on. Uh, you get the textbook, and if you want the audio book, you can get that as well. Uh, but that's what he's listening to. Um, let's do another one here right quick. This one's really short. <laughs> it's from Tommy. His subject is, hell yes. It says, TW, I got my wife and kids back. I do not know how to tell you. Thank you. Please get back with me. I got so much happiness in me. You you help if you need my help, I will tell everyone. Uh, then it says, Tommy, P.S., I tell my story to everyone. Uh, Tommy, that's great, and that's why I'm doing this. So let's get on to a question uh, from one of my customers, and I'm hoping this will help you out. Okay, this one is from Rob, and Rob's subject line says, Bot book, use strategy, and guess what? Uh, a little after two weeks, my ex called me. I hope I handled it well, but I don't know. We had a nice, light conversation for about 45 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, she basically asked me how things were going and said she just called to see how I was. How do I interpret this? I'm now going to wait another week and call her and ask her if she wants to meet. Is this the right strategy? Thanks, Rob. Rob, this is kind of a common situation and kind of goes along with people making some common mistakes. And what happens is, and don't feel bad because it, it, you know, it's normal to feel this way. What happens is you start making some headway. Um, your ex starts to call you or they're coming around because you're, you're pulling now instead of pushing. And they start coming towards you. Uh, but then the, it goes into a, you get too excited. And I have a name for this. I can call it premature reconciliation. That's premature reconciliation. Uh, so, for example, you were talking about in your letter uh, that you talked to her for 45 minutes. That's way, way too long. Way too long. Uh, when you get If they call and they catch you off guard and you don't catch the caller ID, uh, you always want to be friendly. Uh, you can say, hey, you know, it's great to hear from you. I'm like so busy. I don't have a whole lot of time to talk. You know, maybe at some point uh, we can get back together and chat and stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of time to talk right now. And you really cut that conversation short. And the same thing, what happens a lot with a lot of folks is their ex will start to call and text message them again and they do a lot of texting. Uh, and let me tell you, See these two things right here? I don't know if I got this up here so you can see it or not. These two things right here. Your two thumbs, those are the two body parts that can really destroy your chances of getting your ex back. Okay? Don't text, especially in that in that period where we are trying to work and attract them back. Don't be using that text message that will just, just destroy your chances. What you want to do and what your attitude wants to be, and again, it's not all about just what you say and the words. It's got to come from the inside and the attitude. But you want to be at a point where you're saying, hey, you know, I'm taking some time for myself. You know, I agree with the breakup, and let's just get some space. And you know, I love hearing from you. It's great to hear from you. Uh, but let's take some time, and then we can talk. Okay? Does that make sense? Let me give you another example. 
Okay, here's a perfect example of what I'm calling the premature reconciliation. And I don't have the email in front of me, but I remember it very well, and it's an all-too-common situation. But this was from a customer, and she got too excited. She started to make some headway and make some uh, progress, and her boyfriend called her one night all sad and depressed. And she wrote me, and the reason she was writing me, she said, you know, your system was really working for me. And he called me one night and he was depressed and he said he missed me. So I dropped everything and I ran over and I remember her exact words. He said, so I ran over there and I professed my undying love to him. And I think, and she didn't come out and say this, but I think they slept together that night. Uh, because when she was writing me, she, she said that uh, he went cold the, the next day and basically said, you know, it was, last night was a mistake and we should stay broken up, so on and so forth. And that's why him by him saying that last night was a mistake, I really think they slept together. So what should she have done? What should she have said? Uh, it would have went a lot better if she would just said, hey, you know, it's so great to hear from you. And gosh, I'm sorry you're going through such a tough time. But, you know, I, at this point, I'm just not ready to, you know, see you or do anything like that but hey why don't you give me a call in a week or two and maybe we can get together and go have some coffee or something you see that would have been way more powerful that would have been way more pulling and he would have thought about her for a week or two and you know he she would have been in his thoughts and mine rather than her going back over there and you know professing her undying love <laughs> which is just not going to work. And she was a little upset with me because, you know, she said, your system started to work, but then it just went all, you know, hay haywire. Well, and I just told her, he said, darling, <laughs> where in the system does it say to run over there and profess your undying love? It really doesn't say that anywhere in the system. And she knew I was right, and we, we emailed back and forth. And I think we did get her straightened around there. But you want to really be careful that you don't get too excited you know, in the system, there are very powerful techniques and methods uh, for them to get them to call you and to start pursuing you. But you have to be careful of the premature reconciliation. So, and, you know, don't talk to them for 45 minutes on the phone. Don't let these two body parts ruin your chances there. Be cool. Be aloof. Let them chase you a little bit. You know, always be a little bit hesitant. You know, if they call you up, you know, that, that two weeks that goes by, if he calls her up and says, hey, you know, you said to call you up in a couple of weeks, let's go have coffee. Always be a little unsure. So, uh, maybe, you know, that kind of sounds good. When would, when would you like to do it? You know, don't just be rushing in there. Women are better at this than men are. But, uh, you know, don't get too excited. Don't fall victim to premature reconciliation. Uh, if you don't have a copy of Magic of Making Up, I would just like to uh, very gently nudge you to click the link underneath there. And you know, it really does work. It's not a scam. And I am very involved in trying to help folks get their exes back, and save families, and save relationships. Uh, great talking to you, and stay tuned for the uh, next edition of Help Me T-Dub. Thanks.